Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit about how Papiopetalum orchids grow, because maybe you're interested in Papiopetalums, and you just are thinking, hmm, how on earth does this plant get bigger? What happens to it? What's it going to do? Now, Papiopetalum orchids may at first look like they're similar to a Phalaenopsis, in that they have this central growth, and there's leaves coming up the sides and um, falling off to the sides like this. But actually, and Danny, if you're watching, I did just check this, these are sympodial orchids, while a Phalaenopsis is monopodial. Now, what does that mean? Well, a sympodial orchid is an orchid that has its um, feet, um, pod, I think means feet, and sim means together, so it puts its little feet together. But monopodial means one-footed, and that means it will grow up from the center and it will not have any growths coming off of the side unless there's a key or something like that. So that's the difference between a monopodial and a sympodial orchid. Uh, examples of sympodial orchids include all the oncidiums, paphiopetalums, dendrobiums, and some others that I don't care to list right now. Examples of monopodial orchids would include Phalaenopsis orchids and Vanda orchids. They grow up from the center, and they don't grow off to the sides. Now, Papiopetalum orchids, you may say, okay, Astrid, I know that, but how, how do they grow then? So what they like to do is they like to have a new shoot come up on the back of the plant. And oh my God, I have fungus gnats flying around everywhere. Sorry guys, fungus gnats are just so friendly. I can't tolerate them. But anyway, this flower right now is currently in bloom. But what it has done and what I saw at the store, which made me pick this particular one, in addition to its lovely color while it was in bud, was that it had one, two little babies coming out. These are its new shoots, which come up just right from the base of the plant. And we can look in here and see what's going on. Now, this is the first stage of the growth. What's going to happen is this is a good example. This is a tiny little baby. It just pops up the side and it starts to get taller and taller. Now, conveniently, we have stage two right here. And these aren't officially stages, but they're just my way of kind of dividing them. Stage two right here, this leaf is getting bigger, bigger. It's getting closer to the size of the mama leaves, but still very small. It's extending itself upward. And these ones on these paphiopetalums that I have have been growing so quickly that I'm just shocked. They're really, really lovely. So yes, that's a stage one and a stage two. All right, what comes next, you may ask? Well, this is a stage three new growth. You can see that this, I'm gonna move this beautiful background path over here where it's safe. So this Paphiopetalum grew um, this first old growth, this second old growth, this span, and it has now this third growth that is new. And how we can tell that these are old growths is that we can look and see that this is where the inflorescence came up. Or, as I looked up on Wikipedia, I think it's called a raceme. And a raceme is an unbranched inflorescence. Um, and I, yes, I think that's what it means. <laughs> but, yes. So, this is the inflorescence that came up. And this is the old fan, another new one that came up from the base, and the third one. And this one is now um, getting so big that it's coming close to being the size of it, the old leaves. And it's so soft to touch. It's so, it feels like human skin almost, but cool to the touch. And then you can see coming up from the middle, we have another new leaf, which is exciting and agonizing because I just want the dang flower to come out again. <laughs> Additionally, on this, um, my Paphiopetalum nivium type, it also has a little new leaf coming up. I was questioning 
whether or not this this was an old growth that was small from a seedling that gave way to this big growth here that was the new growth but in actuality this is the older growth and this is the newer growth so I predict that it's going to try to get as big as the size of the mama growth here so yes that is how papillopetaloms tend to grow let me get these tags out of the way for you guys so you can see it better And there you have several stages of growth all together in this lovely little display of flowers. Sorry about this white balance. Now, one more thing is you say, when is this going to flower? And to my knowledge, Paphiopetalums, they're going to flower when they're ready to flower. So when this growth gets fully mature, that's when it's going to say, okay, I'm ready to put out a flower. And then the inflorescence will come up from the middle and bloom. And um, from what I've learned from other Paphiopetalum growers is that the new growth will come up and there will just be like this dark hole in the middle of the growth. And you're thinking, what is it? What is it? What is it? And then finally the flower will come. Um, but yeah, so happy growing. If you're interested in Paphiopetalums, Pathmodiae types are easily found at Trader Joe's. I find if you live in the U.S., you can buy them for not too expensive online. Of course, you can buy them at orchid shows. And I'll just show you this other bloom really quick so you can know what a Pathmodiae type looks like. It looks like this. They look like little aliens. They have a substantial pouch. They have um, really cool hairy leaves, petals for the most part. Focus, focus. And they just look really spectacular. So yeah, that is my video on how Paphiopetalums grow. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.